Hello, welcome to my easy statistics. In this video, I'll discuss about overview of SPSS. I'll start from the basics of SPSS environment, the navigation in SPSS. I'll take one example. I'll create some data in Excel and show how to import data from Excel to SPSS. After some basic analysis in SPSS, the output of the analysis we will export to Word document. These things we will discuss step by step in a sequential form. First, let us see how to log into SPSS. This is IBM SPSS Statistics 22. Click on this icon. I am using version 22 of IBM. Now this is the first screen which we see in SPSS. In this screen, we have two subscreens. One is called data view screen. The other one is called variable view screen. Once we have a questionnaire, the variables in the questionnaire, we can enter here in this. That's why it is called variable view. And the data which is entered in the questionnaire, the respondent data will be seen in the data view. So we need to remember these two views. One is a data view and the other one is variable view. Initially, we will discuss about variable view, how to enter data into variable view and after that, how to enter data in data view. To understand better, I have taken an example. I have a questionnaire here and the questionnaire data is collected for an article. That the article is the impact of brand perceived quality and awareness on brand loyalty. Uh, a case study on shampoo based. So on shampoo, we have collected some data like around 100 data was collected. First, I'll show you the number of variables I have in this questionnaire. Later, we will discuss how to frame these variables in SPSS. That questionnaire has two sections, section one and here we have section two. In section one, we have demographical variables are there. Like question number one, it's gender. Question number two, age group. Question number three, monthly income. Fourth question is the brand of the shampoo they are using. Fifth one is the color preference. Sixth one is fragrance preference. These are the section one questions where I have six questions. And in section two, I have Likert scale questions where I have some statements in order to understand the brand perceived quality, awareness and brand loyalty. So the total in this questionnaire, I have 16 questions. In this, the first six are divided into section one and remaining 10 questions are divided into section two. The questionnaire which I have taken as example is very small, but is useful in understanding how to enter data to SPSS. Now let me start the first section. Question one is gender, two is age group, monthly income is third. So first these variables need to be entered in SPSS. 
okay this is SPSS where I need to enter the data in variable view here I have total 16 questions the first question is Q1 second one is Q2 just I am entering the number itself third is question 3 question 4 <coughs> Question 5, Question 6, Question 7. Total 16 questions are entered. This is a questionnaire. Question number 1 till question number 16 I have entered. I have only entered the code of the question. So in a questionnaire, the total questionnaire should have same sequence. And we use character in the beginning and number in the second place. We must not enter the name as one question. One Q should not be entered. It should be entered as Q1. This is a rule in SPS. The first rule is that we need to have a character. Like in this case, it is Q1. It should not be one Q. So I'm entering in the variable. I need to enter as Q1, not as 1Q. So the variables in the questionnaire are having a sequence starting from question 1, Q1 till Q16. Okay, that's fine. In this SPSS, when I enter the name as a code, automatically the, uh, the other columns are entered by default. I'll explain you what modifications need to be done in this basing on the type of the question. Fine. Let me observe the first question itself. I have entered Q1. What is Q1? It is gender. And when I say gender, it has two levels, male and female level right here when you come for q1 let me label it i'll label it as gender it's gender what is second question it is age group what is third monthly income Okay, in this way, all the labels need to be maintained basing on the questionnaire. Starting from gender, age group, monthly income, enter the statements. Here in this case, for example, this is a statement. Copy it, control C. Go to SPSS, question 7. Enter it, that's it. Control V, paste it. That's it. Here you can actually maintain here once again Q7. So in this way, we need to maintain the label for all the questions. So I have entered all the labels for the questions. The first thing I did is I have entered the name in a sequential form for the total questionnaire. Next, I have entered the labels starting from question 1 which is gender till question number 16 I have entered. You can see this all these things. Till 16 I have entered. So this is the basic thing. Once a questionnaire is ready, you go to SPSS in variable view, create the names, enter the labels. Right.